Inflation, especially at the gas pump, is hitting all of us hard this year. Good evening, I'm Pilar Pedraza. Thanks for joining us on this holiday weekend. For some folks, like food truck operators, that inflation is endangering their businesses. Now, as Cakes Maeve Ashbrook is here to show us, one man is stepping up to help out, even if it means losing some money himself. Pilar, he owns The Truck Stop, a food truck park here in Wichita. Also a food truck owner himself, he knows just how hard things are right now in the food industry and just wants to help out. We're battling two, two fronts of two fires that you really can't put out. It's been a hard year for food truck owners like Willie Finley. From inflation to gas prices. Unless you live around the corner, it, which most of them don't, it's one of those things to where that gas cost is always going to affect their bottom line. A worry local food trucks have been telling Cake News about for months now. You're just going to have to raise the prices like everyone else and go with the flow. If it continues to rise, we might reassess our pricing. So Finley, who also owns the truck stop, a food truck park, is stepping up to help. I have already have four people sign up. He's getting rid of his $50 daily parking fee. The local trucks are still traveling to the Goddards, to, you know, the Kingmans, to the uh, all these, the Cheney's, all these out of town, uh, smaller uh, communities to thrive. It all came about after a truck from McPherson stopped at his lot near Kellogg and Woodlawn. Came over, was going to pay me the, uh, the $50 it was to park. And I just, something just hit me like, bro, you just drove an hour here. You, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you're not even going to see this 50 bucks. It's going to go right back into your gas tank. Through August, food trucks and pop up kitchens can fill this empty lot for free. It is a give back. It is my, my way to say I'm still here for the community in any way, shape or form I can. And with his own truck still on the scene in the meantime, he's taking a glass half full approach. Will, will I lose out on some money to, to help? Uh, pay for things here. Yeah, it's one of those things to where I'm thinking the return will be the growing of other people's businesses. Those four food trucks and pop up kitchens that have already signed up will be out at the truck stop starting next Monday. Finley has more information on signing up for the free spots online. We've included a link in this story at cake.com. Live in studio, Maeve Ashbrook, Cake News on your side.